Okay, guys, so I wanted to do uh, example three from the 8.4 note sheets with you since we didn't get to this in class. It's not a very difficult example, but I'll just go over it with you in any cases to make sure that you know how to do it. We will definitely increasingly focus on problem solving in the class. So this will, you know, these types of problems are um, what we expect you to be able to do. Okay. So uh, example three says when lightning strikes an elliptical region where the strike will most likely hit can often be identified. So that would be this region right here. This would be the elliptical region, okay, um, where uh, like uh, the strike will most likely hit, okay. And then suppose it's determined that there is a 50% chance that a lightning strike hit within an elliptical region shown in the diagram. Again, we're talking about this. Uh, write an equation of the ellipse. I'm not sure what this 50% chance has to do with anything. They're basically just saying use the diagram to write the equation of an ellipse. Okay, And so let's focus on the diagram. Uh, basically, what you can do is say, let's make the center here 0, 0. Since the formulas we have for the equation of ellipse, which are uh, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1, uh, in an ellipse that's horizontal like this one, where the foci will be somewhere over here, um, this is the equation we'll use, okay? So these equations are all uh, um, only for ellipses that are centered at the origin. So that's what we're talking about here. So we want to write an equation for this ellipse. Let's consider that to be the center. And then basically what they've done is given us uh, that the distance from here to here is 200 meters. So that would mean that uh, the distance from here to here is 100 meters based on the properties we know of um, ellipses. And the distance from here to here is also 100 meters. Okay, But that gives us some good information because we know that uh, this would be considered a co-vertex and this would be considered a co-vertex, okay? And if I, let's do this in a different color, um, if this distance here is 400 meters, then I know if I put the major axis here that this would be a vertex, this would be a vertex, and the distance from here to here would be half of that, which is 200 meters and the distance from here to here would be 200 meters. Okay, So basically what we know then is that uh, the longer distance here, this is what we call our major axis, and the major axis always talks about uh, a, a squared, Okay, in our formula that I had earlier. So this would be our a, basically is what we're saying, and the 100 would be our b because co-vertices are associated with the variable b, and vertices right here are associated with the variable a. Okay, So based on that kind of uh, understanding of the diagram they gave us, we can write the equation fairly straightforward. Uh, we have that uh, a is 200, from the picture, meters. So we square that to get a squared, and that means a squared is 40,000. Okay, 40,000. Uh, and then b is 100 from our picture, and so b squared is 100 squared. That would say b squared is 10,000. And so that means I can write my equation right away. The equation we have here, again, since the ellipse is 
a horizontal ellipse, uh, the a squared would go under x, under the x, and since a is always bigger, then this would be b, okay, 10,000 right there, and that would be equals to 1. So this would be your equation for the ellipse, okay? And then uh, find the area, that's kind of a, a simple little thing, once, they, once you have the equation, uh, they're just saying the area is pi times a times b, okay? So we have a, we have b, we've already found those. So the area is just pi times a, which is 200, times b, which is 100. And you write that properly, uh, times 100. Which is, if you do that on your calculator, about 62,831.8 meters squared, okay? That's the area. So, uh, yeah, not necessarily the most interesting question in the world, but there it is, a little bit more of an application of an ellipse.